that looked like a crash. It wouldn't be a Scottbot stream without it technical issues. But hey, it was a good run. <laughs> Are we back? I'm gonna give it a minute. Are we back? We made it back, chat. Start to tell me, I'm just. Okay, it looks like we're back. First, the uh, the mic wasn't even technically on, and, or well, the mic's on. It just wasn't input, and now the stream crashed. There's always issues are going on Scott Fox 64. Always issues. You know I can easily kill him. There's a chance of clouds. Wonder if we'll find them. No, the stream crashed itself. That was, I guess, on my end. Again, I... I don't know why it just happens. Ugh. I think part of it's just my location, honestly. I don't think I just live in the best location for internet. But it is what it is. Okay. Supposedly, Tomahawk Man is here somewhere. I just don't know where he is. You gotta find a dead end somewhere. And look, if that's the only crash, we'll take it. You know what I mean? Or uh, the crash happened two hours in. Honestly, it's better than some other days, like yesterday. We'll just continue like normal and see how it goes for now. Okay, I don't know where Tom Man is at. He's here somewhere, though. But yeah, no, Poke Rogue is actually kind of fun. The game starts you off with... You could choose any of the starters from Gens 1 through 9, right? And you can only take a certain amount with you based on... Uh, I mean, you can only take a total of six, but there's like a cost per Pokemon. So you can only start off with taking a certain amount. And, you know, as you play through, if you catch Pokemon, it means that not only do you get it on your team, but if you catch a Pokemon for the first time, you can start a new Rogue Run with that Pokemon if you really wanted to. So if you find an Eevee or any of the Eevee illusions along the way and you manage to catch it on your next run, if you wanted to, you can start with uh, Eevee. And as you catch things, you'll catch like... You could, you could catch like two Pokemon, right? Like uh, two Spearows. Oh, wait, hold on. Are we buffering or are we crashing? No, okay, we were buffing. Ugh, internet. Why, why do you do this to me? Okay. Where's Tom? There he is. Found him. Okay, Tomahawk man. Gotta get a good rank on ya. Let's start with this. Oh yeah, so... You're playing Poke Rogue, and let's say uh, you catch two Spiro, and they have different natures. You know, you keep the one you want for your run. But when you go to... When you go back to your new game run, you can hover over Spiro, and it gives you the opt option to swap natures. Basically, whenever you catch one of a different nature, you permanently basically unlock it as a starting option. 
So there's a lot of things you could do to just get permanent starting unlocks, I guess. That's what to describe something. There's natures, there's shinies. Messed that up. And if I get hit one more time. Okay, that's what he's saying. At least I now know where he is. And that's what really matters. Okay. I could try confusing him. Yeah, let's confuse him. Oh, come on. I don't think he can... Well, no, he can go in the back of it. He just almost never does. I think I'm gonna try this. Okay. In this, just in case. Oh, uh, well, okay, whatever. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? We'll do this. Get a better Shadow Man going. Oh, yeah, it's just on the browser, so. Oh. Okay, I can. I think I can afford to get him with this, so I'll go with that. Let's take this. Go to normal number man. And I guess I'll try Guardian? Just throw it up here. And I got hit twice. That is for sure not the dark. Uh, not gonna get me the dark chip. Alright, let's try that again. Number soul to start with. Let's get rid of the healing. I want to give myself a safety net, and I'll, I'll try to confuse him again. Okay. Well, I got him confused. Um, what do I want to do? I can't get rid of too many chips, can I? This is one problem with my folder now. I can't get rid of that many. I think. Do I want to? Um, we're just gonna use it normally. I don't know if that's the smartest move, but we're just gonna use it normally. And we got the dark soul, uh, the dark chip. Good. Next, we want to go to Oron Area 2. We're still going. I am going to actually take this route. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I lost my chance of getting the dark chip for Colonel. I think I would have to do it normally. We might skip Colonel. Because I would actually have to find them. And I don't think I'm fully ready to fight Colonel. We might skip Colonel. Or in Area 2. Someone here. Don't know where he's at. And 
that was the nebula door, so that's okay. Let's take a look here. Nope. Again, I don't know where he's at. I just, I just know he's in the water. Wait. Is he just wandering around, or do I actually have to find him? I actually... Wait. I actually don't know if I have to go to a dead end. Actually, now that I think about it. This might just be a random encounter. Already. And if that's the case, I'm not gonna stress about it. Still haven't gotten crossover points. We're gonna see if it, there is we need to check every dead end. We'll know when, if we find it. The, there is a chance that he's actually here, but it's a random encounter now. I'm not sure how this fully works. It's a little different. Just check every dead end. But yeah, also with Poke Rogue, like, the more you use a Pokemon or Slash, the more you catch them, sort of thing, you get, you basically get candy for that particular Pokemon, kind of like, almost like this is Pokemon Go. And if you get enough candy for it, you can unlock, say, a secondary ability as a passive Bumps them even more. So when you have stuff like that, you can warp your way towards. Kind of interesting. So, like, even if you never find, like, I don't know, I was really trying to use Charmander and Mud Mudkip a lot. So, if, like, you never really find them in the wild, the more you use them, you're building up the chance to get extra. Hidden abilities, there's shinies, there's egg moves so you can permanently unlock and change your starting uh, starting run with an egg move if you wanted. Oh, there's Lava Seed. You get it there too. I think that might have been a different code. Let's see. No, no. Okay, he's just here. Okay, he's just a random encounter. That's fine. Now that I know that, I guess we'll try it, but I'm probably... Okay, well, I'm not getting it, but I'm not resetting either. Chucks that football. He really chucks it at ya. Now let's get rid of the two awful whirls. Okay. Oh, what to do with this? Okay, I'll see you soon. Safety net. Leader raid. Hell yeah. All right. Um, I have off. How, how do I want to do this? I could. 
Okay, let's just go straight into Chaos Lord. Or... I think this can ultimately deal more damage by Now we have Chaos Lord. I'm not getting the SP chip. <laughs> However, full energy. You know what? We're here. Might as well. Might as well go for it. Might as well try. Let's try going for the SP chip. Alright. Um. Yeah. You know what? Let's start with getting rid of a good amount of chips. this up. And I think I... I will do that. I want my safety net, too. I messed that up. One more turn. It's getting confused. Or try to. Oh, okay. Thank you, safety net. Number soul it is. I at least got rid of one. Okay, what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? Um, in this leader raid, and I'll save this for later. was on TV and now there's no chance. Yeah, now there's no chance. Start okay, start that was a good run. That was a pretty good run. Now we just need a slightly better one. Yeah, that was close. That was very close. I don't, I don't want to use this yet. I think we are just going to start with Scully and get him try to get him confused. Or not, I guess. Okay. Yes. Shadow Man. There we go. Under damage, total three, three hundred. That's good. That's something. Uh, okay, it's charging. Oh, okay. Okay. L M. can't use this. Honestly. There we go. Let's try this. I 
I lose my times too, but I think I can make it work. Do this. Oh, I got hit once. No, I don't think that's gonna work. That's not gonna work. I don't know if that will get me the record. No. That was an okay run, but I was being out careful. Too bad against him. Could lock them all in place with this. First, let's go normal number soul. Actually, let's let's get him confused. Let's get him confused. All right. I'll only get it once. Fine. Um, I could either get rid of three chips. Let's get rid of three chips. I have Chaos Lord in the, in the back pocket. Oh, oh no! Stupid summoned quarterback, whatever. I could have Chaos Lord. Oh well. Fine. Okay, what's the plan? I don't know why I didn't Chaos Lord. I'm just like, yeah, let's just save it in the back pocket. Chaos Lord can be used for later. Oh, well, I still need that to work. That was very close to being bad. I currently want the safety net. I'll save Invis for a second. Okay. Chaos Lord, we have Shadow Man, we have Shade Man. Alright, we have a lot to work with here. Let's start with... Big noise. 400 damage. Then, oh, he's paralyzed. And the Shadow Man for 150. End it with Invis. Then, throw in a Leader Ray. For the kill. And with the new record, we get the Gridman SP chip. There we go. Making that save. So now. Not, not this. What am I doing? His the attack power of the chip is 160 now. It could be better. That's the whole point of the SP chips. You do better at fighting them. You know. Get a better chip. Okay. Yeah, uh, um, I already. Yeah, okay, whatever. 
I already fought you. I don't I don't need to fight you anymore. Like What? Why don't you just leave? Why are you bothering fought and fighting me now? And he's just like, you're the one that thought wants to fight me. That's all good. I don't care. I just need to get through the fight. Yeah, we gotta get past him now so we can get to end area and lose the lock enemy. Unless I wanna just leave it back. Actually, you know what? We haven't really gone to Colonel. Oh, what? How come I got that achievement? Is it just like going to every soul once? And I just never went to Colonel? Even though I'm pretty sure I did? I don't know what that achievement is, but... I am pretty sure it's just going to all of your souls at least once. Even though I'm pretty sure I went to Colonel Soul once. Made it out. We're done with Gridman. Next up, we need to get to end area three and four for Number Man and Toad Man. And like I said, I think we'll save Colonel for later. We already used up the lock enemy anyway. We do have the 40, so I could just go straight into Nebula area. I forget which way. No, wait. Uh, I think we want this way. Yeah. Oh, green. Zenny, yay. Right now, I think we're gonna go find Number Man and Toad Man. Get their Dark Soul chips. And then we'll go to Nebula. I think that'll be the plan. Oh yeah, and there is. Okay. Time to go Navi hunting. Check every dead end. That's not it. That's just normal virus. Man, he needs to basically run into a brick wall for it to count. An invisible brick wall. And I'm not going to be able to get the 100 bug fragments, not in this run. Or uh, this session, I should say. 
So I won't be opening the door at least. Eventually gonna need to bug bug frag grind. Drill arm three. At least I can run from these guys. That's all nice. Let's see. Here we go. Here he is. Number man. I hope this goes well on this attempt. Um, what is the plan? Actually, you know what? I think we'll go Colonel this time. Because his charge shot is actually pretty quick. Just in case I need to get out of danger. This, this mechanic. I could literally change my charge shot to the pulsar. Like that is an option I can do. However, ooh, I need to do this. You know what? I think the I think Colonel's form, you know, has already used up his time. <laughs> Take one hit. Let's see. Let's actually go with the fusion. That that counts as two hits, dang it. Dang or area grab? I thought it was just gonna be the Where am I? Oh I'm at the beginning. Number Man is only going to be annoying if I don't have a quick way to destroy those uh, number balls. That's the only reason it would be annoying. Number Trap? Well, how was I supposed to know that he can arena grab with that? I thought it was just, you know, the giant wall that slams on you. Okay, I can have my safety net. Going Shadow Soul is not the worst idea, but we can start with Colonel, actually. Get rid of a few things. While I do like the Colonel Soul, I think it needs a... Oh, that was a bad use of my safety net. It probably needs a very specific build to make it work. Let's get rid of this. If you can, if you set up like a bunch of, if, if you set up like a bunch of like rock cubes, you can really make Colonel work. Excuse me. Oh, that's 